So the next part will be the holder for the tools for our rear tool post. First of all, we're gonna mill one side clean and in angle. Then we're gonna mark the cutouts for the tools, the holes for the clamping screws, the hole for the clamping screw itself, and at last we will mill the small feet here which will be guided in the T-slot. Well now, let's try if it works how we imagined. So first of all we need to clamp this part parallel to the quill. Therefore we mounted an indicator and when we feed it down Ah oh well, that's uh, two and a half tenth. That, that's that's nearly nothing. Uh, and now with a few blow of the hammer, we will bring it into parallel. So now we gave him a few blue with the hammer, and uh, well, that's one hundredth of a millimeter. That, uh, that uh, we'll leave it that way. Really, really. No. no, we don't move it any further. Well, now we mounted a 50 millimeter cutter head. First, we try about, uh, let's say, uh, 500, 500 RPMs. And then let's see if my mill screams or laughs. Well, mill and cutter head both fought bravely. Now we're gonna unclamp it, deburr it and mark it. Well, honestly, with the quill wheel, you can drill much more sensitive and you always have the handle in front of you and you don't have to reach back. Well, this part will have its value, really, like it. Well, we won. We, thr we drilled through. Now we will uh, cut this with the handsaw. And then we will mill it. Well, after I sort this out by hand. Oh, okay, well, I, <coughs> I held the electric saw by hand. Uh, we will gonna mill this with the rough cutter down to about half a millimeter oversize and the rest we're gonna mill with the finish cutter and then it will it should fit and with the other side we'll do the same well the first round went very well now let's see how much we can feed in 
before he flies around our ears. So now we successfully milled out the most of the cutout. We now clamped in a 16 millimeter end mill and we will we'll mill the last half millimeter out and then it should be finished and then we will do the other side. So let's see where we are. We've got a depth of uh, 14.1 millimeter. So we need to feed in one tenth. And here we've got uh, 11.35. So three and a half tenths and we mill through and that's it. Well, now that we nearly accidental free milled through this block of steel, we will deburr it nicely and then we'll mill the other side. So we are now going to face mill the underside of the two holder. We have installed a 20 millimeter roughing cutter for this purpose. Well, we have to mill a few passages, but we have to accept that. We should have bought a bigger mill. Well, now we have a clean spot. Now we're going to take a measurement and see how much we have to mill down. Well, believe it or not, we have to mill down 5.3 millimeter. This will take a while. Uh, if we had thought a more bit precisely, that was the point. Let's do it. Now sooner or later everything comes to an end. This also applies to the milling of the 5mm. Last lap. Let's start. <laughs> 